Aloha fam, Mr. Micah Bang here at Select Shots. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Crane M3S and go over and list the reasons why you should probably step your gimbal game up because this gimbal is pretty, pretty cool. So let's head on over to the B-roll studio first, take a closer look at it, and I'll get back to this list. All right, let's do it. Alrighty fam, so let's hop into the reasons why you should step your gimbal game up and upgrade to the Crane M3S. Now in my last video, the uh, Super Ninja vlogging setup video, um, I explained how I took the Crane M3 with me to um, Japan and South Korea and shot a lot of those videos using, or all of those videos, using that Crane M3, the Sony a7 IV, the uh, Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter lens paired with a 77 millimeter neural density filter. And this leads me into the first reason why you should upgrade to the Crane M3S. Now it's the improved motor um, capabilities. When I was having um, a little bit of trouble, not so much with the motors, but with the locking mechanisms um, on the Crane M3, Xeon has virtually solved all of those problems and in the Crane M3S you will not experience those same problems. Now with a weight load of, of about 1193 grams I can tell you from experience that the Crane M3S will indeed hold that weight successfully. Um, the, uh, the motors have been significantly improved and the locking mechanisms have been um, upgraded as well like the design of them have been upgraded and that was number one the, the number one reason why um, this trumps the uh, crane m3 the number two reason the second reason why you should upgrade to the crane m3s is the improved quick lock um quick lock plate now the quick release plate on the uh, Crane M3 was a long horizontal plate that ran parallel to the uh, bottom, the base of your camera, and it covered the uh, battery door. Now that is all done away with and it's a nice little baby release plate and it's just, it's just awesome to work with. Um, so number three is obviously the ergonomics. Now, they've made some improvements in the design of the motors and the locking mechanisms and the quick release plate, but like the Crane M3, it's just as small and just as portable. For reference, here is the uh, Weeble S, which they also did an upgrade for, and here is the uh, Crane M3S. So very small, very portable, very ergonomic. It was super easy to pull this um in in and out of my backpack uh, when i needed to store it and it made it super convenient if you watch the uh, super ninja vlogging setup video i go over a little hack on how i was able to mount the uh, crane m3 onto my backpack strap and virtually this can work the same way because of the design of the uh, gimbal itself which is pretty much the same um, out like a handle of the crane m3 and the last reason why I think you should upgrade to the uh, Crane M3S is the Bluetooth capability. Now, on the Crane M3, you'd, ha you'd have to do a wired connection to your camera. And, um, you know, wires, they, we're, we're all about getting rid of wires these days, right? Everything's trying to go wireless. And in the gimbal game, it's no different. Finally, the Crane M3 offers a Bluetooth um, system so you can hook uh, connect directly to your camera. Um, I've got my uh, Sony a7 IV paired up with the uh, Crane M3S so it allows some really neat uh, features like you control ISO, shutter speed, um, and hit hit pause and uh, hit record and play 
using the controls on the uh, gimbal itself. But out of all of those connectivity um, upgrades, I think that the, uh, the, the app connectivity in which you can connect to your uh, phone and to the gimbal is another reason why you should probably upgrade. Um, I'll go over this right now. So if you have the, uh, Z, the I think it's ZI, Zy app, it's a ZY Play app, um, you'll be able to find your, um, you'll be able to find your gimbal here in the list of gimbals and click create M3S and I've already got mine paired up so I'll go ahead and connect to it now. Um, so we'll hit connect here and it's going to pair. So now that we've connected, now I can, it'll open up this screen and supposedly you'll be able to, if you are connected to your camera, you'd be able to see what your lens is seeing. Um, but right now it's connected to my other camera, so it's not paired. But um, yeah, this this app is really nice. Like you can control you can control your uh, camera all from your phone, and super handy. The other reason why I love this app is because you can set a trajectory photography so you can plot points um, and you can set the points and the camera will move to that scene um, they call them scenes and you can set the scene uh, multiple scenes and for a set duration and uh, yeah just let your kind of get your gimbal just do its thing whether you're doing like a uh, time lapse or you're just taking video for me I use it for video a lot so on this um, preset trajectory photography screen, you're just gonna go ahead and hit shooting mode and you're gonna slide it up to video. You hit enter and you'll see that the shooting, um, and what is that? The uh, the shooting interval and the, sh and the uh, shutter, the shutter speed options, they disappear because you're not doing uh, photo, but you're doing video. So those things get um, X'd out and you're only now working with the uh, duration. So we can just set the um, duration to like, let's just do 30 seconds. Just do 30 seconds. And basically you just, you can um, set your first point. So let's just set it at me. You're gonna hit this little plus button right there. And then the, uh, you, you can move it to the next spot. Oh, I'm sorry, you can barely see that, huh? There we go. You can move it to the next spot, and there you go. And you can add as many as as many um, s spots as you want or scenes as you like. And let's just add one more. Let's tilt the camera down, and let's come. Let's move it back to me. Oh, bingo! All right. So just that, just like that, and we're gonna start. And then it'll ask, ask you to save the preset, and you can um, uh, laugh out loud. Save. So here we go. Now the uh, you'd have to start record on your... Um, make sure you hit the record button on your, uh, on your camera, and then it'll just run its, its trajectory. The, uh, and it'll give you your... It'll list the scenes up top here, so A, B... Now we're making our way back to C, and as far as I'm concerned, it's like an even distribution of time. I think you can, I think you can adjust that. I haven't gotten to play around with it too much, but this is one of those things where I found super handy and absolutely love. So now, now, yeah. So with this, with this new feature, man, I, I think it takes gimbal work, the gimbal game up to the next level. Um, I'm pretty sure they had this um, on previous gimbals, but you know this is the first time that I'm getting to use it. And to be able to use it on the Crane M3S, such a small and portable gimbal, just makes my whole life a whole lot easier. Um, as a musician who's playing music and trying to film himself or myself, it's hard to get different angles and camera angles by myself when I'm up there on the stage. So having, um, so having a gimbal you know, be able to use different scenes and do it automatically while I'm up there playing, man, 
makes a whole difference in um, being able to capture yourself um, as a content creator, right? So those are my list of reasons why the Crane M3 is probably one of the, if not the best gimbal out there um, on the market. And, you know, if you are um, in the Xeon um, ecosystem, you have to, I think you have to have one of these gimbals, you know, for traveling, um, for everyday use. It's just, it's just an awesome product. And um, yeah, so if you found this video helpful, um, I just want to say thank you. Make sure you do um, leave your, leave your comments in the uh, comment description let, or in the comment section and let me know what you think about the uh, Crane M3S or if you uh, learned anything. And um, yeah, until the next time, <laughs> shoots. Oh, and secondly, this is a side, a side note. Um, this is my first video with my new audio, um, my new audio setup using the uh, sound devices mix pre three. So also leave a comment what you think of the audio, but until then I'll catch you later. Shoot.